G'day viewers. Today's video is inspired by Bjorn Nyland or Tesla Bjorn's Model X sauna video in which he tested how long it would take to create a sauna in his Sub-Zero Model X in Norway and I've included a link to that video below. Uh, like you're watching this, I watch a lot of Tesla YouTubers and they're predominantly in the Northern Hemisphere and uh, there's a lot of cold weather videos and it got me thinking about different climates and I thought I'd make a tropical reply video. So I live in Darwin, uh, right at the top end of the Northern Territory in Australia and we're about 12 degrees below the equator in a tropical region. We only have two seasons, a wet season and dry season and the dry season the weather's absolutely glorious and there's um, more of that coming in our video soon. And the wet season has this combination of high humidity and high overnight minimum temperatures. So there's not a lot of respite from the heat. Uh, it's great if you like tropical thunderstorms and lightning shows but it can be a little bit oppressive sometimes and in the wet season our cars often feel like mini ovens. So I'm heading down to Casuarina Beach to get some shots of the sunset and I'm going to test the air conditioning and how long it takes to cool down our Model X 100D. The car's going to be in full sun and stationary the whole time. So keep watching for the results and I'll include a link as well to uh, some very detailed data uh, which I took every five minutes and uh, the link to that below and hopefully we get a couple of good pictures of the sunset as well. So let's see how we go. Okay, so I've just fired up the air conditioner and you would have seen the temperature spike to 69 degrees but it seems to be dropping pretty quickly now. I think that's probably just the temperature that was in the air conditioning unit itself being superheated. When I've turned it on, uh, the first thing it's done is expel that really hot air. But as you can see here, the maximum temperature on the logging unit I've got was 59.9 degrees Celsius, so just shy of 60 degrees still pretty warm and uh, what we'll do now is just turn all of the air conditioning front and rear up flat out so seven in the rear and 11 at the front and we'll see how we go So here's a quick look at the detailed data. Uh, there was a small dip just before I turned on the aircon, which I think was some really heavy cloud cover that came over. Uh, but once the aircon started, it cooled down pretty quickly. Um, it was around one degree Celsius a minute for probably the first 20 to 25 minutes. And then um, there's some tapering in the rate of cooling after that. I'm actually a bit surprised that the rate of cooling wasn't uh, a bit faster. Uh, there's a bit of a disconnect between the data and my perception of temperature in the car which 
really after about five or ten minutes was quite pleasant. Um, uh, as you can see in the video, I had everything turned up flat out and I had the vents blowing straight, uh, straight on me, which evidently made it feel cooler than the actual ambient temperature, which is a good thing. Um, I might redo the test at some stage as I'm curious whether there's a difference with uh, the vehicle being driven rather than just sitting in full sun, so that's something we might have a bit of a look at in the future. If you persevere for just a little bit longer, you'll see the photo I got of sunset. If you've got any questions at all, drop them in the comments and we'll get back to as many of you as we can. And thanks heaps for watching, we'll see you next time.